Retro Django here. Today's video is going to be all about connecting your Amiga to a screen through the HDMI input. So here in Europe, we actually use cables like these from RGB, Amiga RGB out to SCART stick in your old LCD TVs. And if you use a proper cable, not something cheap from eBay, uh, but proper cable with, you know, uh, with, with a little bit of gold on it, <laughs> if you pay a little bit more, then you will actually get crystal clear picture quality. I mean, look at the letters. It looks amazing on, I mean, this monitor is, uh, TV is just an LG TV. Nothing special, but it looks great guys but newer tvs here in europe they're just like rest of the world they don't have scarred stick that's bad news for our old amigas but what we can do is actually buying one of these cheap hd video converters as you can see from scarred dash HDMI to HDMI 720 or 1080p. Now in this video, we're gonna test the signal with this one. And after that, we're gonna test this bad boy, the OSSC. Now I tested this one in my last video and I tested it in my Amiga 4000 TX. That board has got a 15 kilohertz VGA out. Um, the plug, the, the RGB plug, I, I haven't have it yet, but it's on the way. So I tested this with 15 uh, hertz um, VGA and the picture quality was so bad. I mean, don't get me started. It was mushy. It was, it was just unusable, man. But I have to, uh, I have to try this with the RGB out and see if it helps. So let's just go ahead and plug this one in first and see what's going on. Now this is, this is on-screen capture. I can see it's not the best when filming an LCD. I can see it, but it is what it is, guys. Just trust what I'm saying. Now, if I use RGB to start and connect it to this old LG, TV screen, it looks perfect. I also have CRT monitors. I don't use them because they're small, uh, 14 inches, but the picture quality from that to this, I don't feel like I'm missing anything. I love everything about it. When I, you know, get really, really close and I look at the, uh, at the letters here, they're just, the contrast level, everything is just razor sharp. It looks, it looks amazing all the way. I love these old TVs having, you know, scarred sticks and everything looks, I just love everything about it, guys. So this is actually what I use, you know, every day use, it's, it's this. So let's just go ahead um, and put on this one and see how it looks all right the hd video converter is connected i just powered on my amiga and nothing happens power off power on there we go second yes all right so scart pal 1920 by 1080 at 50 hertz I have some buttons over here. And as you can see, I can choose between SCART and HD, 720p, 1080p, PAL, NTC. I hope I can convert this to 60 Hertz. Just, let's just F1. Let's just um, load workbench, 1920 by 1080 at 50 Hertz. So let's see how it looks, man. Let's look at, Oh, I can already see that it looks crispy. Wow. Oh, 
Okay, two things, guys. Oh, it looks nice. Let me just put on some music. Okay, so from what I can see, I don't think the camera can pick it up, but when I look at the N over here, it has the black black letter N, and over here it's gray, but bet between the uh, black and gray, it has got this white line. Um, that should not be there, of course. Now, if I look at F here, it has got a lighter grayish line here. Now, it can be, you know, my SCART cable is, really nice from the Amiga RGB to the box it's really nice but oh sorry it's so black and uh, dark in here that's because I want to film everything here but it can be my the quality of my HDMI cable um, but it can also be this converter that I mean it, that it's not the best in the world I don't know but uh, what I want to try actually now I want to try try to play a game and see how it updates but uh, in Workbench, I would say it's definitely usable. Now, if you don't have a SCART stick, then one of these. I don't know the I don't know the prices because all of this. I mean, my ACA five hundred is a donation. My uh, both these are donations, and the OCCS are is a donation. So I I, I don't know about the prices of these products. Um, but but I feel like it's absolutely usable, man. Uh, I, if I didn't if I didn't have an, uh, a scar, oh, I can also see some jail bar lines. They're not there when I don't use this. So yeah, but still, it's okay. So let's try. Um, what? Oh, of course, this one over here. We're running with my Amiga 500 Plus. This is an odd one. Um, I got this Amiga 500 Plus not working. <laughs> I fixed it recently. I found out that it had the uh, mechanic keyboard, you know, um, from the Revision C, the Chicken Lips model. So it's the Amiga 500 Plus with Chicken Lips keyboard. That's nice. So it has got uh, two megabyte chip RAM. You know me, guys. I don't use an Amiga if it doesn't have the two megabytes of chip RAM. It's a must for me. And it has got um, an ACA 500, and it has got an ACA uh, 020. Uh, I don't remember its name. Again, another donation. So that's just great, guys. Oh, let me see. Two seconds. Scart nineteen twenty. If I press again, eight hundred by six hundred sixty hertz. That's what I was looking for. Thousand by seven hundred sixty hertz. Twelve eighty ten twenty four sixty hertz. Beautiful. I love the music in this game. Two seconds, guys. Let's just get some. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, I know the camera is not the best way to show it like this, but let me just tell you, this in 60 hertz, it's fully, it's smooth, it's really nice. Let me see next, 12 by 700, now it goes down to 50 hertz. 1920 by 1080 50 hertz let's try it out oh <laughs> all right all right guys in 50 hertz i'm getting jail bars and it doesn't run, run as smooth as it did just a second ago dude it, can, can you pick no you can't pick them up wow in 50 hertz it doesn't look good so let's just go ahead and Jail bars everywhere. Let's go ahead and change that to 60 hertz. The J bars are gone. 
that means I'm just gonna run this uh, 12 by 1000 at 60 Hertz and I have no jail bars and it looks it looks amazing it runs really really nice beautiful stuff all right let's go ahead and install the next solution the ossc is installed let's give it some power ossc uh, there we go uh whoa. two seconds guys let's just do it like this all right you know black background and white letters looks amazing with this ossc um it has also a, a remote control so you can let's just so you can adjust let me see how this one works um we are loading workbench here and um, yeah i would say i would say you still have that white stripe <laughs> um but in some way a bit hard to explain but it actually the picture quality is better on the OSSC than this HD video converter I think it's a bit more expensive it has got this lovely fancy uh, display here it has got more inputs outputs <laughs> so using this with the 15 kilohertz vga out from my amiga 4000 tx it's a useless picture but rgb to scart and then from scart hdmi to uh, the tv it looks beautiful absolutely i mean the picture it's usable okay i would be happy with this absolutely so let's just go in and uh, pick a game that that scrolls a bit and see how it looks with this o20 system here <laughs> let's uh, enter games um what should we check out guys o20 it's just come on come on there we go it's reading it's just so slow man i mean o30 is a must um sensible sucker shout out the beast of course let's check that one out oh the picture quality is it's absolutely usable <laughs> i like it Wow, man. It looks nice. Guys, come on. Buying one of these boxes, I mean, they're not that expensive. And it enables the possibility to, you know, connect your Amiga with a brand new big LCD, LED, OLED TV in your living room i don't know 80 inches and just enjoy your amiga games um this cheap one it scrolls really nice when you choose 60 hertz it scrolls so nice and um i know these are cheap so all in all really positive of course when i have a tv with a scart connector I will use that because that quality is just it's just you know one-to-one -one and it looks perfect i love it i don't miss using crt monitors um this picture does flicker a bit after that the next one i would choose is actually this ossc uh again i don't know about the price but in workbench it looks great okay 
you can see that you know you're using cables you're using um you're converting the signal i know but wow it looks amazing also uh, some of you guys you don't like when i show a 16 by 9 signal um i'm getting mails about that <laughs> Uh, so let's see uh, which button was it, man? Let me just. No, it's not this one. Two seconds, guys. You can actually. Yes, here. Change the aspect ratio. There we go. Original 4x3 aspect ratio. And let's just take a look at it this way. Uh, this is the original signal. And we have got, you know, uh, what, 19 inches now. But I'm telling you. The scrolling, it doesn't flicker, it do it runs perfect. And I haven't, in, I haven't uh, even, uh, you know, it has two buttons. Let me see the right button. What does that do? It doesn't do anything. I haven't been in the menu and set up some stuff that that this one can, the OSSC can. But this is just, you know, standard settings, and it looks absolutely mind blowing. Wow, man, personally, I wanted to have, oh, 14 by 9, 16 by 9, zoom. Yeah, that's what I like. I'm used to using like this, guys, so yeah, give me a break, okay? <laughs> uh, looks great, guys, looks great. Uh, let's try loading another game. Let me see. Um, let's try Alien. to the horror continues <laughs> wow the picture quality it's totally usable i like it again it doesn't flicker it it's not mushy it wow man when the day comes and i can't get any uh lcd screens in denmark with scart stick i would be happy to use it with one of these converters perfectly fine I would actually, actually, uh, I would not use one of these because of the picture quality is a bit too mushy for me. But the OSSC is totally thumbs up from RGB out, not VGA. <laughs> it looks nice. One thing that I don't like is just that's because I have this OCD build in me. <laughs> when we use one of these guys, you have the need to give it power, 5 volt DC, another adapter, another cable, uh, more mess on the table, don't like that. You have to put in the scarts again here, you have to use another cable, uh, HDMI out to the, t to the monitor. So, more cable chaos, more stuff that takes place, um, and every time something gets adapted, I really don't like it everything th something gets converted adapted i my ocd triggers i don't like that man i love that it, this uh, solution with rgb to scart and it looks better than this <laughs> love that but uh, all in all would i recommend one of these solutions i would say absolutely so if you're looking for a uh, you know hdmi solution for an old omega 500 omega 600 of my knowledge all of the amigas has got the rgb out i don't know with the cd systems i don't remember but i don't care about them but you know beautiful for this system man so would i recommend it hell yeah i would <laughs> All right, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. I hope, I hope it was a bit informative. So if you're thinking about an HDMI solution, go ahead and, I mean, look at this. Just go ahead and buy one of these OSSCs. Look at this, guys. Crystal clear. <laughs> Have a great day out there. Bye.